Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here, and in today's video I want to show you 9 free to play decks that can help you get to rank 5. Now, although these decks are free to play, some of them do run legendaries, some of them do run epics, but I've tried to keep the dust cost low. You'll find no deck in this video is above 5000 dust. There are some legendaries that are a necessary craft if you want to do well in wild. Um, and those three, in my opinion, are Baku the Moon Eater to play odd decks, Gen Greymane to play even decks, and Patches the Pirate to play pirate decks. So first up, we have Free to Play Jade Druid. Now, the only legendary that we're running in this list is Aya Blackpore. It's a powerhouse of a card. Um, it's a good card to craft because you can also use it in Even Shaman. And you'll notice that we're not running any epics in this in this build. So because we're not running Ultimate Infestation, we're not running Branching Paths. So to simulate the draw effect, we're using Gadgetan Auctioneers and, and Innovate. So that helps us cycle through the deck faster. The Jade Idols are also really good to help you cycle. This is an anti-aggro build, so you've got Starfall to, hit, to help against Paladins and Rogues, or boards of Totems and Shaman. You've also got Double Naturalize to deal with those pesky 4-mana 7-7s seven and Giants floating around the meta. Next up we have Tempo Mage. Tempo Mage is already a relatively cheap deck to play. Uh, Alaneth is a required legendary for this deck. Um, I did try this without Alaneth, and trust me, you need it to have any sort of a chance. And all I've really done here is I've taken Ice Block, which is an epic, replaced it with Ice Barrier to kind of simulate the effect. Our third deck is Mech Hunter. Mech Hunter is another very cheap deck to play in Wild. Uh, Ziliax is the only legendary in this list, there are no epics. And Ziliax is a very powerful card which you want to have in the deck, especially since we're running Flying Machine. Uh, you can magnetize Ziliax onto your Flying Machine. Um, you can even Ziliax onto, you know, all different minions in this deck and just have incredible burst. In some cases against aggro decks, specifically Paladin, the heal is quite significant. So Ziliax is very powerful in this deck. Uh, some more expensive versions of this build run, for example, Fell Reaver, which are epics, to get some cheap 8-8s out on the board. Then we have Odd Rogue. Um, Odd Rogue um, needs to have Baku the Moon Eater, of course. Needs to have Patches the Pirates. Um, pirates are what make this deck go over the top. Um, keep in mind, Cold Blood has been nerfed. And so this deck isn't as powerful as it used to be. Uh, but to try to make it free to play, you've got to keep in mind that Vile Spine Slayer is an epic. So I replaced it with Assassinate. Um, we're also not running Leroy Jenkins, which maybe we don't need Leroy since, we, since we're not running Cold Bloods anymore. But uh, we're running a Wolf Rider with kind of our free to play Leroy. Uh, we can't, we're not running the, um, the epic pirate card. So we're running Vicious Fledgling instead. But overall, um, this, this deck is still pretty powerful and you'll be able to get a pretty decent climb on the ladder with it. Here's something fun. If you want to try something different, um, I've built a free-to-play Milrogue. Now, the only legendary that we're running here is Valyria the Hollow, just because of the incredible value you can get off the uh, hero power effects and the kind of extra turn that you can buy. Uh, but as for the build of the deck, you know, we're not running Brand Bronzebeard, so we're running Spirit of the Shark as a pseudo Bronzebeard. We're not running Preparations, so we're running Counterfeit Coins, which are nowhere near as good, but it's as close as we can get to simulate that effect or just cheat out a card a turn early. Um, but basically, with this deck, you're either, you know, filling the board full of Death Lords and Sludge Belches over and over, um, or you're going for the mill technique with your Cold Light Oracles. So, depending on your matchup, you've got your Lab Recruiters um, to help you just get that extra edge to try and um, stall out your opponents into, into fatigue, or to just basically make your aggressive opponent give up because of all the taunts you have.
Another deck which has traditionally been very cheap in Wild is Combo Priest or Inner Fire Priest. Now, the more modern builds are now dragon based, and those are simply too expensive to, to be able to play free to play. There are too many epics that you need. But if we go for the more traditional approach, um, what, which control the board initially um, innovated in Wild, um, this is a pretty cheap deck. Um, the only, it's not running any legendaries, but it is running two epics, specifically Shadow Visions. Shadow Visions is a very important card in this deck. Um, it's what helps you dig for that inner fire you need for lethal or that extra divine spirit just to help you surprise your opponent with this big burst out of nowhere. So this is a very cheap deck to build and um, can definitely catch your opponent off guard because typically they mulligan against you assuming that you're big priest. Next up we have Odd Paladin free to play. So in this case you need to have Baku the Moon Eater but the pirate package is not necessary. So we're not running any pirates. This avoids you having to need patches the pirate. And so this is, a, this, is, this is a little bit similar to the standard list that you typically see, but we are running some wild cards in here. We are running Muster for Battle, of course, powerhouse card. We're running Rallying Blade, which has great synergy with our Argent Squires, our Righteous Protectors. Uh, we're running Unidentified Maul, um, this is not a wild card, but I mention it because you might get the Divine Shield as the bonus effect and then you can double up that effect with Rallying Blade just to get some huge burst against your opponent. Warhorse Train Leader, sorry Warhorse Trainer is also a wild exclusive card to help you buff your, sil your Silver Hand recruits. Um, I actually am using War Leader and, Warhorse tra and one Warhorse Trainer here. Um, just to get an extra up against our opponents. Next up we have Pirate Warrior. Now Pirate Warrior actually is a little bit more expensive than most people realize. Obviously you have to have Patches the Pirate here, uh, but there are, since we're trying to keep the dust cost low, we're not running Leroy, we're running Reckless Rocketeer as our pseudo Leroy. Uh, we can't run South Sea Captains, they're epics, um, that makes the deck a bit too expensive. So instead we're running Double Shield Breakers just to give us an extra edge against Taunts. Usually you only run one of these. Um, and even though this isn't the particularly best card to run in Pirate Warrior, you can catch your opponent off guard by hitting them with some Mortal Strikes. But overall, um, very fast deck to climb with. And last of all, we have Even Shaman. Now, Even Shaman, um, it's a relatively cheap deck if you don't want to go the more um, greedy approach, running rags and lich kings, things like that. So we're running two legendaries in this list. We're running Gen Greymane. We're running Aya Blackpore. Um, Aya is just so powerful. Um, it's hard for this deck to function without it. You might decide to use two Sea Giants instead if you own those cards. Um, but overall, this is a, you know, this is our free-to-play build of Even Shaman. Um, because we're running two Fire Elementals, which is not normal. N usually, you run one or none at all. Um, because we're running the double Fire Elementals, we're also running uh, double Menacing Nimbus and double Earthen Might. So we have a better chance here of having elementals. Um, again, just to get some extra burst, you might get lucky with the RNG to get that perfect elemental, maybe even rag, to take your opponent out. So I'd like to know your thoughts of what you think about these decks. Um, if you try them out, you know, what's your success on the ladder? Um, this, currently it's the 28th of March. Um, there are a few days left on the ladder, so if you want to get that rank 5 chest and wild, these decks may be the way to try it out. The deck cards, the deck codes are in the description below. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel, the subscribe button is below. You can click and I will see you all next time. The real way to make these decks free to play is just craft two pinatas and jam them in all the decks, if you made it to the end of this video.